lovelies hello 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 so today i'm going to be sharing with you how i make my bok choy yes that's my nice fresh picked and washed bok choy right here i'm going to be sharing with you how i make my bok choy loaves all right these seasonings or vegetables herbs that i'm showing you right here these i'm going to be using into my bok choy when i'm cooking it all right so we have our tomatoes we have our scallion we have some thyme right here we have our scotch bonnet pepper we have our purple onions we also have our sweet pepper and right here is our organo leaf all right guys so stay tuned and watch while i cut these up steam my pak choy make my loaf dough and yeah so just stay tuned and watch watch and enjoy as i share with you my pak choy loaf recipe all right guys so here i have my plate right here so whatever i cut i'm going to put it in my plate all right so the first thing i'm going to cut up is my purple onions and if you don't have purple onions guys you can use the regular onions all right i just choose to use purple onions because i want to give it a nice color now these i'm going to transfer to my plate there we go then this our organo we're going to add it to our plate as well sorry if you're not seeing my plate guys then I'm going to be cutting up my tomato. They're going to go in the same pot. Feel free so to cut and mix them. Because in the end, they're all going to be mixed in the pot that we're going to put them in. All right. Yes. So I'm just going to be giving these some rough cuts because they're going to mash in the pot. So you give your tomatoes, your vegetables, and your seasonings some rough cut let me get the top the head of this I don't want this in mine all right <laughs> so I remove the top off is it the top or the head or the bottom well it's the top off no guys I'm going to be giving these some rough cuts as well and you can guys you can cut these up however you want if you want to leave them in strips or if you want to give them some dice feel free to do so all right so ever you want to cut your seasoning because in the end they're all going to smash in your pot so ever you want to do them you can do them and yes guys these are all washed i washed these before I showed you guys I actually washed these before I cut these up so y'all don't have to worry now we're just going to give these some yes guys my camera went up about half tablespoon or one tablespoon of butter you can use any um oil of your choice so if you want to use olive oil you can go ahead and do so if you want to use vegetable oil 
you can do so coconut oil whatever oil that you want to use but I choose to use butter because to me butter in my vegetables just give it a different and a nice taste okay all right lovelies so now that we have our butter all melted we're going to be adding our vegetables and our seasoning and we're going to saute this until everything is nice and translucent then guys you can add some mixed vegetable like what i did earlier this is quite optional but i like to add some extra vegetables to my pak choy so you can go ahead and do that then we're going to be adding our pak choy to our pot at this point guys if you want to add like some um, all-purpose seasoning or some black pepper you can go ahead and do that at this point i just want to taste my natural seasoning so i'm going to do without all right we're going to be mixing this until all our bok choy absorb all that nice flavoring that we had earlier oh my gosh guys i wish you all could be smelling this this smells so great it smells so good now that we have everything mixed in lovelies we're going to leave this for about two to three minutes for it to steam but you want all the liquid out so please do not cover your pot you're going to leave it until all the liquid is dissolved oh, from your pot all right but i go ahead and already prepared my dough if you want to know how to make this dough that i have here you can go ahead and go on my aki recipes video and check out the aki loaf video that i have there okay. and the only difference with those and this one that i have is that i colored this one so i just go ahead and add a little bit of food coloring to my dough to make it yellow all right so that's the only difference with the the aki loaf video that i have all right now let's get into doing the nice goody 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 thing we're going to be rolling this out and then we're going to farm you know just just stay tuned and see what's going on all right get nice and flat all right so you guys perfect all right guys so now that we have our dough all ready i'm going to be using a knife and i'm going to be cutting these and yes guys they're not going to be perfect but that is all good and guys before you start rolling ensure you flour your work area then i'm going to be adding some filling on one side Then we're going to close it. But we have this one. We're just going to press the edges. We're going to seal our edges by giving it a little press. All right. Then we're going to make a little hole in the center to let air through. All right, guys. Now that we have all our our loaf, we're going to add this to our oven, and we're gonna bake this in our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how big your loaves are. All right. And there you have our delicious mini pap choy loaves. We're going to see what our dough is looking like on the inside. Alright guys, so now I'm going to be tasting what our pak choy loaf tastes like. 
oh my gosh guys look into this look in this guys look at that Ooh. it looks so delicious now let's get into cracking Oh my god. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Guys. Guys. You all need to try this one. Mm hmm. Thank you so much for watching don't forget to like leave your comment down below and subscribe for more